she just came up behind and stabbed me in my um in my left arm and that cut all the way through my arm and came out the other side um and then i had two more further stab wounds on my back blood was going everywhere in the evening after any argument uh always as i was about to fall asleep she would bring up the whole argument up again I soon learnt to just apologise for anything and everything because if I didn't, I wouldn't be allowed to get any sleep. I opened my diary and she'd placed a letter in it stating that she was pregnant and had come off the pill deliberately. I felt totally violated. In the evening after any argument, always as I was about to fall asleep, she would bring up the whole argument again. I soon learnt to just apologise for anything and everything because if I didn't, I wouldn't be allowed to get any sleep. She kept telling me that she would kill our children and me if I ever left her or if I did not comply with whatever it was that she wanted. I mean, the first time, I've got a perfect sort of slow motion video memory of it. I was sort of just sitting on the sofa. Um, it was about six o'clock at night. The TV was on, but I wasn't watching it. I was just sitting there with a drink. And she just came in and punched very hard on the nose and, and I bled and then she went back into the kitchen again. I mean, I suppose that the worst examples of physical abuse are the things like I was driving the car when the eldest two were quite young and we got into an argument and she just kept punching me in the head while I was driving the car. I couldn't do anything because I had to keep driving the car. So I'm just getting punched in the head. I have two children in the back. You know what, if she punches me unconscious or something, and I'm bleeding after all this... There'll be slapping, scratching, pushing, pulling, blocking your exits from a room, spitting, sometimes kicking, throwing things. The whole time was like walking on eggshells because you didn't know which version of her was going to come through the door after work or whatever. You didn't know if it was going to be the nice one or the, the not so nice one. I was raised to never, ever, ever hit a woman, so I never fought back. I just covered my face and backed away from her the best I could. I'd have to bring proof of purchase for milk when she would send me to the shops and ring her when I was in the shops to prove that I was there and only there. I wasn't allowed to take my daughter to school because of all the single mothers there. She once injured her hand. She punched me in the face too hard and she broke her pinky finger. And uh, we went to the doctor's office immediately and the doctor called it a boxer's break. Then the doctor offered for her to press charges against me, and she made sure that I knew about that when we got back into the car. She said that the doctor has gave her his card, and that any time that she wants, all she has to do is call this doctor, and the doctor will help her press charges against me for the assault. And I said, but you hit me in the face and broke your hand on my face. And she said, it doesn't matter. And she used that as a threat all the time. She said, all I have to do is call the doctor. She also used to say that all she has to do is put a bruise in her body and just bang herself against the door jam or something. And she just has to say that I did that. The relationship's over for two years now. I still don't feel like I could trust another person to form a new one. I'm heartbroken knowing there's nothing I can do to help my son. I'm still in court fighting. She totally manipulated the relationships I had with my own family, trying to avoid contact with them or not seeing them, and feeding me negative comments about them all the time. It's so obvious now with hindsight what she was doing. But it was gradual, you see. Like the frog warmed up gently in the pan. You don't see the abuse of the relationship creeping up and taking over you. I tried to kill myself. I ate all the sleeping pills I could find, drank a bit, and was happy that it was over. I woke up next to her. It was the worst moment in my life. I was still in hell. The worst example was a night when she doused the bed in paraffin, set fire to it with me asleep, turned the power off and waited by the switch with a hammer. I have never attacked her or fought back at all. I have tried to restrain her at times to prevent her from attacking me. The problem in that is that she would then show me the bruises a couple of days later and tell me that she could report me to the police for assault and that they would believe her story. Unfortunately, that is true. It eventually got to the point where I would just cover my face and not even try to restrain her. She also subjected me to several ordeals of sexual torture. She stole a pair of handcuffs from the, from the prison where she worked. And the first I knew about it was waking up to find myself handcuffed to the metal bed frame. She proceeded to torture me and then got infuriated because I was not getting an erection. 
obviously too terrified and in too much pain and gave me a good punching and left me there. I, I have no friends now. Uh, my wife insisted I stop socialising as I was now with her. And if I loved her, I would not want to spend time with anybody else. 